Anthracnose is a, a fungal pathogen of tomato. It's caused by uh, Colotoctricum, which is a, a genus of fungi, and there are various Colotoctricum species uh, which can cause anthracnose in tomato as well as in many other crops. What's interesting about uh, Colotoctricum or anthracnose in tomato is that it can infect all different types of plant tissue, uh, but when it infects green tissue, there are no symptoms. However, in red fruit, uh, it harms the tomato, forming these circular depressions and then these, uh, what we call necrotic legions, these dark spots that uh, essentially make the tomato unusable. Uh, at the consumer level, uh, for fresh market consumption, uh, anthracnose is a disease that occurs in production areas that experience rainfall. This is common to much of the U.S., exclusive of, of the West Coast. Uh, pretty much anywhere it rains, uh, this, this fungus is going to drip down from leaves and other structures on the fruit and infect it kind of cyclically each year. Historically, the, the strategies to, to reduce the level of anthracnose in the field involve heavy use of fungicides or um, certain water management strategies to try to minimize the amount of colotoctricum introduced to the fruit. Uh, however, if we can introduce a tomato line that in and of itself is naturally more resistant to anthracnose and can and still be a, a viable, you know, good fruit for the marketplace and for the table, uh, then we can save farmers time and money and ultimately, hopefully, lower the amount of um, fruit that they, they have to lose each year due to anthracnose. Here in this lab, uh, we typically work with a, a tomato that, is, that suffers from anthracnose and it has these lesions. And we find many throughout the world growing naturally in the environment that for one or more reasons are resistant to anthracnose. Uh, so one of our big research questions is how can we take one of these naturally disease resistant tomato lines and cross them and introduce these properties to a, an anthracnose susceptible line, introduce it to a tomato that's uh, on the market or in the processing market where uh, lots of tomatoes go into sauces and, and salsas and tomato paste and stuff like that. Uh, in this lab we've uh, done many of these crosses and we have a variety of tomatoes that are you know variably anthracnose resistant. So we have uh, two central approaches, right? So one is breeding that trait into an otherwise anthracnose susceptible tomato. Uh, however, uh, we targeted a few key genes that are involved in uh, production of uh, certain mo molecules that are important for resistance to colotoctricum, resistance to anthracnose. And by turning down the expression of those genes using something called a viral vector, uh, we were able to achieve an enhancement to anthracnose resistance. One of the, the goals of this work is to um, you know, help farmers grow tomatoes that are kind of naturally more resistant to anthracnose, but that, um, you know, that uh, benefits the, the dinner table as well. So the idea of, of growing these tomatoes that are naturally more resistant is to minimize ultimately, um, you know, the, the, the tomato losses every year and um, the kind of resulting uh, impacts to, you know, potentially like the price of, of tomato.